And that's what we're seeing right now in the aftermath, I would say, of what's been going on with um, with Amber Heard. And we don't look at the fact that she took a dump on the bed. And that's where you get to the, the Amber Turd thing. Okay, don't look up Amber Turd. Please don't, but you're going to anyways if you don't already know, right? Takes a dump on the bed. She says, oh, it's the dog took a dump on the bed. Okay, either way, it's bad. <laughs> and I gotta, I have to, um, you know, just from a red pill perspective, I can't let Johnny Depp off the hook here. Johnny Depp is still very much a beta when it comes to women. And, and people hate it when I say this. Uh, you know, a guy like Jeff Bezos, a guy like... Um, uh, I would all I would argue Russell Wilson. I would argue um, well, certainly Will Smith. I mean, that's that that's a probably a no brainer for you right there. But these are high profile guys. Like Johnny Depp is Johnny freaking Depp. He could go get laid if he wanted to. He's he's Captain Jack Sparrow. He's a heart. He's been a heartthrob for God knows how long, and he gets involved with a woman who uh, clearly has uh, it, some combination of narcissistic personality disorder. Cluster B, right? She uh, borderline personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder. Go look that one up. Um, if, if some combination of all of those things, okay? So he that that and that seems like a good idea. All right. Now, clearly, according you can just hear it in the tapes. You can hear it in the in the recording of the conversation between the two of them. What that sounds like. Now, recently, I I I think it was like two. Was it two months ago that we were talking about Will Smith? And it, it might have, it was after the slap. So it would have been after the grant. So it would have been like April, I think. And that one uh, video, that leaked video got, came out. And I believe it was Jada Pinkett Smith who was uh, sort of like berating and like sort of um, henpecking uh, Will Smith uh, with her video and talking about like Esther Perel. We're going to have you on the on Red Table Talk and come and straighten him out, Esther. You know, like, basically nagging him and essentially like turning him into a cuck, which he already is kind of. And when that came out, like when you see stuff like that, you say, okay, uh, you, for a lot of guys, it resonates with them. They go, I've had that conversation before. She, my, my, the bitch that I used to be married to or the bitch that I'm currently married to speaks in that same way. Yeah. Elon Musk. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Speaks in that same way. Like there's no, it's, it's, it's a, it's the language of disrespect to the point where it's like he, you don't like, the way that you get to that point is because the guy never pushes back. The guy never demands the respect. He never says, you know what? <laughs> Screw this. He, it's demonstrate, not explicate. Remember when we talk about boundaries? And I always tell you, like, don't don't talk about it. Don't give her an ultimatum. Don't don't say, oh, well, if you go, I'm I'm, I'm out. Fuck you, bitch. This is what this is the way it's gonna be, right? No, you you enforce boundaries. You don't talk about boundaries. But what happens is when you don't enforce those boundaries, when it's like when you're de when you're explicating all the time, when you're talking about it all the time, uh, that if you don't enforce those boundaries, if you don't demonstrate those boundaries, at some point they go, well, he's not going to do anything. I can do whatever the hell I want to with him, and I can keep nagging him, and I can keep being passively aggressive with him, and I can keep doing these things to the point where you get Jada Pinkett Smith on the leaked video henpecking Will Smith. To the point where you get the conversation between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in the – like I did and gave you the audio in the beginning of this. By the way, 2020 is when that came out. Um, and so when you listen to that and you listen to – that's the language of disrespect, first of all. And then second of all, when you're listening to that, guys go, oh, I've heard that tone of voice. I've heard that before, and they, it resonates with them. And if those guys are still sort of like locked in their blue pill doldrums, let's just say – uh, they might try to make up excuses for it. They might say, well, you know, Johnny should have done this or Johnny should have done that. It's usually like we we make a big deal out of the guy. We don't talk about like the woman who's actually doing it, who is actually bears at, le at the very least, bears half of the responsibility for that. OK, at the very least. But we don't talk about that. We think about the guy. Well, how, how come Johnny didn't man up? Uh, it's the same thing with um, I remember when uh, where's <laughs> hey, when Brittany Renner was getting after um uh, PJ Washington and they got divorced and she's had the kids and it's, you know, step, or it's a, it's a step daddy season or what, you know, baby daddy season, whatever the hell she was talking about. Right. We blamed PJ Washington for not having seen the signs. Well, how come he just didn't do, how come we, you know, we're going to talk about, he bears more responsibility than she does. She's just doing what she said she was going to do. She's writing books about, you know, getting with a and calling them literally calling athletes stupid and doing exactly what she said she was going to do. 
Now we're going to, you know, put the blame and we're going to put the, uh, the consequences. We're going to lay that all at PJ Washington's feet. And maybe he does bear some responsibility for that because he probably should have seen the signs. Somebody should have had his back, whatever, but he didn't. And the pussy was that good. And so he stuck with it. Right. So then what? Well, we're, we, 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 we don't want to look at Brittany Renner. We want to actually lift her up and say, oh, well, you know, she's actually smart and she could teach guys something. And now, now she's like teaching guys to watch out for girls like her. <laughs> I mean, in, in a roundabout kind of low key way. So who's the, who's the sucker in all of this? Is it PJ Washington? Is it Will Smith? Is it, uh, you know, Johnny Depp? Should they have not seen the signs? Should they, is, is it on there? Do we lay it at the feet? Do we lay Johnny's like defamation case? And I'm probably very expensive defamation case case. Do we leave that at, at his feet after since, well, really since 2014, but I mean, that's when they were getting married. So like since 2016, for sure, like then what, where do you go from there? You know, we're going to, we're going to look at the, like, that's essentially what's happening with like these opinion pieces from, from the guardian or from uh, got, you know, for Rolling Stone, right? It's a Holocaust. It's an orgy of misogyny. Um, you know, it's, it's the, it's the death knell for me too. It's not, but we're going to b- blow it up because there's still this overarching, like social atmosphere. I don't know what else to even call it, but there's this, there's this zeitgeist, let's just say that we still live in this patriarchy that hasn't existed really since I would say like the mid seventies, 